Hawks. Now Amadio turned a puck over. O'Reilly in a foot race. He'll win it. Leaves it for Dupree. A wrist shot. That got through traffic. Rebound. Shot. Score. Jason Williams. Finally, it's over. Obi Cal O'Reilly won a race. Knocked it to Simone Dupre. Dupre got his shot through. Clemente had to overcommit a tap back pass. And Jason Williams had 24 feet of fun. And he slapped it home for a 1 1 tie. And here's what I like about Simone Dupre. He didn't hesitate to take the shot, he just fired it on net. The Falcons were never able to set up defensively, and what a pass by Brian Lurg across the crease to set up Jason Williams for his 11th of the season. Far too many times this year. Paul Thompson has been very active today. Coming along that time, a slight hesitation by McIntyre. Here's a possible check for Mayorev. Now we're going to have a penalty. Will this be a penalty shot? Yes, yes, it is. So Mayorev with that great speed. You look at Maxim Mayorev. He's from Lenogorsk, Russia. Played five games with the Columbus Blue Jackets last year. A breakdown, a turnover. Steve McIntyre looked to be very slow reacting to the neutral zone coverage, and Mayorov came streaking in for a penalty shot. Yeah, straight had to get the hook on him. Otherwise, it would have been an absolutely clean breakaway. And so, Patrick Clean with his first penalty shot attempt against the season. Now, Colleen was dynamite in the shootout against Springfield two weeks shot. ago. He stopped four out of five. Mayorov is a lefty. He goes way wide to the right blue line, comes in, slows down, takes a wrist shot, crossbar. It's going to land. No goal, Patrick Killeen. It's like the carnival. Remember that old game where the strong man bangs the hammer and you try to ring the bell. That time the bell rang, but no goal for you, Maxime Mayorev. Trouble as well. Bank pass in front. Bortuzzo keeps it on side on the near wing blue line. Good dish to straight on the far point. Brian straight a shot, and Lur gets a benefit bounce. That's a goal you need. Obi for the second time tonight. A shot from the point has got through traffic. A rebound we've mentioned all day long went right on the stick of Brian Lurg in the high slot. And that's the second basically empty net goal for the Penguins. It's 3-2 to two in favor of Springfield, but that has everyone feeling good. Feeling good, and I think this may have been a pass by Jason Williams. Yeah, he redirected to Lurg in front. A slap pass from the point that Williams, look at this, perfect now, straight down low. I was actually knocked away by the defenseman and right to Lurg, who wears the Springfield defense on that one. Brian Lurg and, and Garlock put a very heavy slash that was not penalized. Here's a chance for the Penguins. It was loose in the crease. Ryan Craig is Rob Bortuzzo, a wrist shot. That's blocked. Craig will swing one in front. Brian Gibbons taps it home. We're tied at three. Obi, when you go to the net, good things happen. Ryan Craig on a rebound. A close call that was just cleared. And that time, Brian Gibbons, two feet from the net, stick on the ice. He smacked that shot home. And now we're tied at three, and the building is going nuts. And they almost scored just before that, but the Penguins continue to work hard. There's Ryan Craig, a blind spinorama pass, and no one picks up Brian Gibbons in front. He taps in his 11th of the season. Back and the and look at Steve McIntyre working one through the neutral zone. Mac has not had any of the rough stuff that we expected, but he has been a factor and drew a key power play, even though the Penguins did not score. And here's a steal by Zach Sill. Back on the point. Alex Grant shoots and scores. A rocket blast. Steve McIntyre provided a snowplow screen in front. Alex Grant wound into one like a windmill in Holland. That was a howitzer. 100 mile an hour takeoff right to the top of the net. And now the Penguins have their first lead of the hockey game, 4-3. to three. Obi, that was a shotgun blast. Well, Alex Grant coming off the bench, puts all of himself into this one, and some traffic in front, and I'm not sure with Mike Complente, he had some complaints looking up as to, hey, I was interfered with, but I don't see anything that would suggest that wasn't a clean goal. Great shot by Alex Grant. Thompson was trying to work it in deep. Takes it in front, quick shot, stepped at the post, and it's knocked away by Gibbons. Oh, Colleen, another save. Colleen has lost his glove and his stick. A shot, it hit him in the leg, he had no idea. Oh, Colleen has a bare hand, no stick, no glove. Obi, he just stuck out his leg like he dropped a bottle on the floor and he didn't want it to break. What a save by Colleen. 
I don't think I'm going to forget that sequence for a while. What a save. 6-4 and using all that right there on that last leg pad save. And his blockers at the near circle stick <laughs> on the far post. I think he's laughing as he took <laughs> his mask off. Obi. Look at this thing. Let's call it unorthodox because that's exactly what it is. As I think Mormina may have tipped that as well. And Colleen had to be very fast with his pad. And heads up play by defense realizing the situation just getting it back to goaltender and getting the whistle he was oh it's bump. point time here's a chance for mcdonald mcdonald had it knocked off his stick brian straight wants to make the smart play and brian straight's gonna knock it in the goal brian straight gets a freebie the penguins are gonna win the hockey game the question was did mcdonald fully clear the zone before that empty net it went in straight, was not trying to score. He was trying to bank it ahead to McDonald, and it dove right into the back of the net. And it looked like that Springfield was reacting like straight was just trying to get it deep into the zone. And it looks like McDonald's out. Who goes diving nice and try and uh, stop Springfield's it? Springfield's going to miss the net. The horn will sound. And Patrick Colleen has won the hockey game. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins get a much needed victory and now the pressure goes back on the Hershey Bears who are getting started in a five o'clock game against Charlotte. An excellent rally victory. The Penguins score four unanswered goals. Williams, Lura, Gibbons, Grant and Straight get the goals. Zach Sill a couple of assists and Patrick Colleen has become the Springfield assassin Never on a Sunday, that's two wins and the players are out with the sticks to salute the fans.